All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday, January 12th. We got six games on the NBA slate that we will jump into today. Like we do every single day, we're going to go through each game. I'll give you what I'm thinking. I'll give you my lean, but my final plays, what I'm actually going to be rolling with, will be in the pinned comment if you want to ride with my picks or if you want to fade my picks. Last night, we go 1-0 and oh in our picks. We had the uh, Pistons to cover, and they win that game outright. I did see a Pistons money line in the comments as well, so shout out to you whoever posted that uh pistons money line in the comments it was not our ride of the day as we fix one of our hanging things here um it was not our ride of the day our ride of the day came in from reese it was tyrese halliburton over i think 13 and a half uh rebounds plus assists halliburton didn't have the best rebounding or passing night we finished just shy of that womp womp if we had the soundboard but guys if you want to be today's ride of the day all you got to use is hashtag ride of the day in the comments and i'm jumping on board with one person's pick and then you guys get a shout out in tomorrow's video win or loss um yeah let's we'll jump right into it guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button we're started off with the sixers taking on the thunder here the six are 25 and 15 on the season here in terms of injuries no injuries to report which is very important for the Sixers team who has a couple who have had a couple major injuries as of late um Sixers are nine and a half point favorites the total sitting at 232 right now OKC has the same injuries that they have had they've covered three of their last or four of their last five one three of their last five outright one of those they were 11 and 11 and a half point underdogs to the Celtics and they win that game but Philly's also won five of their last six games they've covered four of those games here nine and a half points is a lot to ask for i think philly will win this game but nine and a half seems like a little bit too much to ask for so i'm gonna lean the thunder in this one i also do like the under 232 i think i like the under a little bit more than i do either side of this i wouldn't expect um the thunder to be a final play so don't expect to see that in the pin comment unless something glaring jumps out throughout the day but yeah we're gonna lean thunder here and the under Moving on, we got the Nets hosting the Celtics here. Celtics won last night here. The three-point favorites on the road traveling to Brooklyn. Totals at 228 and a half. Last time these two teams played, the Celtics won 103-292. That was way back in early December here. In their last 10 games, the Celtics 8-2 and two straight up, but 5-5 five and five against the spread. And on the road, they're only 2-2 two and two straight up and 1-3 and three against spread. That being said, I'm saying spread and said way too much here. Kevin Durant, as we saw yesterday, is out uh, indefinitely here. So this is going to be the Kyrie Irving show, uh, a little Boston Kyrie Irving action. I expect it to be a close game, but give me the Celtics. If you want to call me biased in the comments, fine. I don't think I'm biased. I know the Celtics are back to back. They may be getting um, Marcus Smart back tonight as well. I'm going to lean the Celtics minus the three points. Robert Williams is probable in this one as well. The Celtics have won four straight games. Like I said, eight of the last two they covered last night against the Pelicans, a big line nine. They won by 11 points. So I'm taking the Celtics in this one. Moving on, we got the Raptors hosting the Hornets here. Seven and a half point favorites are the Raptors. Totals at 231 and a half. In terms of over under, both these teams um, really hitting their unders when they are on the road here. Toronto's at home and uh, Charlotte's on the road. So I guess that bodes well for Charlotte. But I think that Toronto keeps this game at a more of a grinded out pace uh, being the home team. So I'm going to lean the under here uh, in this one. Toronto's been hitting overs left and right, but again, they're at home tonight. Uh, Gordon Hayward downgraded to uh, doubtful here. And in terms of a spread, I do think that the Raptors um, deserve the win. Or what did, they, what did they win by? Won by 14 or something when they played the Hornets a couple nights back. That makes sense. They played well. The Hornets didn't really come to play, but seven and a half points, still a little bit too much to give, especially when you just played this team. I'm going to lean Charlotte here plus the seven points. Um, January, I got it up in front of my notes. January 10th, these guys played. So just two nights ago, same exact spread. The total was 132 to 120. I'm almost expecting the inverse of this entire um, little two game series here. Charlotte ends up covering and the under hits. Call me crazy. I don't think those, I'm not, I don't love either of those picks, if you couldn't tell, um, but I am going to lean that way. All right, Heat um, taking on the Bucks here. In terms of a spread, it is a pick 'em as of right now. I don't have an updated total here, um, but in terms of injuries, Grayson Allen is questionable. Chris Middleton is out here. Milwaukee won last night against Atlanta, 114 to 105. If I'm not mistaken, Giannis didn't have the biggest of nights. And then in terms of injuries for Miami, no Kyle Lowry. Bam Adebayo is upgraded to probable. Caleb Martin, Tyler Hero both out. Same thing with Dwayne Dedman here. I'm going to lean Miami in this pick. I know they're on a back-to-back, -back, but Giannis has to be hungry after his 
his last couple games. So I'm going to lean Giannis and the Bucks to take this win. It is a pick em right now. I don't have a total um, or an over-under, but if I do see one throughout the day as we get an updated line, I'll make sure to put that in the pinned comment if it does become final play. All right, Trailblazers, three and a half point dogs at home taking on the Cavs. Total 221 in this game. Jared Allen upgraded to probable. He left last game not feeling well. Uh, Damian Lillard is questionable in this one. The Cavs struggling. Two, six, and one against the spread in their last nine games here. Um, they played in late November and won 114 to 96 against this Portland team. If Donovan Mitchell's healthy and Darius Garland's healthy, I expect this Cavs team to come out firing after a loss to Utah a few nights back. So I'm going to lean the Cavs minus the three and a half here. I think it's a very fair number. It started at minus two, uh, now minus three and a half. So if you are on the cap side, you might want to do it early before that changes. In terms of a total, I don't have a lean either way. All right, Lakers, three and a half point dogs at home against the Mavericks. Totals at 230 in this one. This Lakers team has been so damn puzzling. Seriously, they're 5-0-1 against the spread in their last six games. And then they'll go on a streak. Like, it could start tonight for all we know. They go on a streak where they just stink it up. Um, in terms of injuries, LeBron is probable. Russell Westbrook's probable. AD is obviously still up. Patrick Beverly is questionable. Lonnie Walker is out. Troy Brown is upgraded to probable. Um, but their last 10 games have just been so puzzling to me. They get smoked by Denver, a game in which I thought they are going to be able to hang. LeBron gets ruled out, then poof. Okay, all goes out the window, right? But they lose to a team like uh, Charlotte, 134 to 130. And they beat a team like, uh, what do we got? My they beat a team like uh, Miami, Atlanta, Sacramento, all in a row. It's like, what are you, Lakers team? What team decides to show up? For that reason, I'm actually going to lean Dallas, who have not been good as of late. I think uh, they definitely have some work to do, but Luka's getting healthier here too. I think that they do win this game. Three and a half points on the road. Slight lean for me, but I do like that side. Um, and again, it kind of just comes down to me not being able to trust the Lakers. I'd love to be able to be like, Lakers at home getting points done, but you just can't trust. You can't even trust the injury report for Christ's sake. So I'm going to lean Dallas here plus three and a half points. In terms of total 230, I really do think that this one uh, has the potential to go over as well. I think this could be an up-tempo game um, with a lot of points scored. So I'm going to lean the over here, um, which is, I think we've leaned a lot of unders in this video, but guys, that is all we have for today's video. We'll get back to the mic, the camera, the normal setup pretty soon but uh, as you guys know even when we're on the road or traveling i do want to get these videos out to you guys so we just record with the phone and the tripod so hopefully you don't mind that but we'll catch you guys in the next video all right peace out